Hey guys, that's 721 here. It's going to be another video on Power Revolution Geopolitical Simulator 4. So, in this video is going to be a bit different. So, it's come to my attention that if you uh, play Power Revolution, then you'll know what this is. But, it's come to my attention that if you don't know how to play, or if you're just, there could be part of my audience that don't know how to play or may just be looking for a bit of a insight on as to how the game works and I just thought I'd create this in case anyone want, who doesn't know how to play would want to watch this instead to, to work it out. So pa Power and Revolution is mostly about sort of economic reforms as well. There's a war game side to it uh, but that's not particularly detailed, I'd say that it's probably geared towards the more economic side of things, creating an economy, reforming whatever country you choose, and by the way you can, I'm just using America as an example here, you can take control of pretty much any country with a few extent, exceptions, like for example, I don't think you can be like the Cayman Islands or some of these ones down here or the Pacific Islands, but the vast majority of countries you can play as. And I think the country that you play as will determine what your goal is. Like, for example, if you're playing as the US, then your goal is to maintain world peace. Whereas if you're playing as, say, for example, Syria, which I've done a series on, uh, or a different scenario, there's a war over there. So your main scenario is ensuring your safety, whereas America you can afford to think more about the long term. So with that all being said I'll show you this bar down here is the bar of actions that you can take as as a head of state because you play as the head of state not as the actual country. <laughs> so and down here is the options to advance time but we'll get to that later. These are all the different maps I'll go through them one by one later and this panel up here which I think I will go through first so you've got your you there in your country and you've just got some general kind of information although like for example actually I think it might be, it might be better if I were to go over click on China here and compare America with China so you can see it's a different you've got all the stats here and then you can see we're a presidential democracy, like they choose the leader, is these are authoritarian that don't. And this other thing, quite here, the political party, is pretty big. That does, uh, we're a centre-left party at the moment, and, and they're a communist party, so we have to, uh, what laws you implement, this is your popularity rating up here, and this will, this is very important, because if it drops below, usually around about 10%, then you it's basically a game over so you don't want that to happen this tutorial will hopefully tell you how to avoid that so yeah if we have a look uh, like for example if you propose laws more more democratic laws in China then they won't like that you can also get overthrown for that they don't like it so what else? Uh, this is just the climate again, that's not really too important. Well, th these stats here, probably around this area, are the most important. So first you've got the share of world GDP. That's just a general idea on how rich or poor your country is. You can see America is one-fifth of the GDP, so doing pretty well in that regard. Growth is the other one, so that's how much you increase and you're in G GDP is increasing, which I think your GDP is up here, but you didn't even worry about this particular figure too much. Uh, unemployment, that's a pretty big one, because unemployment will help boost all these other stats. Inflation, you want to just get to sort out your currency, and deficit is perhaps the biggest one. So your deficit and debt are your two biggest ones, and what they are aiming for is you want to get this into a negative number, so that this goes down and your debt cuts down and if you get the debt to zero then you start going to surplus which is really good. It doesn't happen very often but if you can get it into surplus then well done you. <laughs> I think I'm 
in my South Africa economic series that I'm doing. Uh, if you want to go check that out, I'm round about now. I what am I? I want to say, I think I'm out of debt. I just just managed to get out of debt, or I was very nearly out of debt. So now the other thing is, uh, so we said about the debt. Yep, GDP per capita. So this is pretty important because it shows you how much on average that your people are earning and this is the main thing for like sorting out social quality which if you're a left party is something you really want to try and get under control because you want to sort out the social gap whereas and you want to raise everyone's standard of living and I suppose you're doing them right as well but you just want to yeah, I'm not going to get into that side of things, but basically, this number, you want it to be big, and I'm, like, obviously good, but 56,000, so that's very, very good, but in other countries it can be, like, I think one example is if I go to, this is one off the top of my head, if you go to Afghanistan, GDP is less than a thousand per capita, it's six, 698, it's 700 dollars per person, which really isn't great <laughs> and that's not accounting for all the billionaires that, it, that probably aren't many that live there but billionaires or rich richer people in that country that own that, that own a lot of that wealth as well so again it's probably the case as well in America but not to that extent so before I get sidetracked uh, these bottom ones are so this is carbon emissions so if you're going if you're trying to do if you're trying to save the world and do like the environmentalist approach to things so you want to get this down and you can do that I'll show you how to do that in a minute and the army if you're doing the military thing which really isn't great because I've got to be honest power and revolution is a bit of a spreadsheet basically it's a spreadsheet with graphics so you just wanna if you if you're looking for a war game it's probably not the best game but if you're looking for the economics then I mean, I mean it's still good for the war game obviously because you know it's I, I do think power and revolution is a very good game but it's not the best and then you've got nuclear weapons this only applies to a few countries and I don't think I'm not sure that the AI can actually use it so I, don't, I think it on, it's only relevant to you, and I think you can create your own ones, but really, that you shouldn't really need that approach, if I'm going to be honest. So, you can see with f just foreign affairs, before I move on to these bottom tabs, you can see that this uh, Canada is very dark green, which means Canada are close allies to us, and... Mexico are neutral, so they're grey, and see Venezuela slightly don't like us. I do Bolivia and a lot of South America usually pretty against us. And see that red China hates you and if you were to declare war on anyone then that then they automatically turn red. So moving on to this bottom row here. I have a look you see your budget and your debt and all in that and this pie chart is actually pretty important because it shows you what where your spending is basically so we can see most countries tend to spend a lot or the ma the majority of their funds on this side of things like the health health care and the family and social security and things like that and this portion for america is actually disturbing the high most countries don't tend to have that is the defense budget unless you're uh, planning to take over the world which I don't really recommend it never goes well uh, I wouldn't have a high defense budget I know some countries like I'm not sure about China but I know North Korea for a start definitely have like over half of their spending is is military so it's gonna take that into account so taxes are pretty important. You can increase taxes. Do be mindful that your party will likes or dislike certain taxes. So 
let's say for example income no let's not go for income let's like if I go for I think I'll create a tax if I go if I wanted to add value added tax I think this is the left party so increasing that they don't really like if you play on an easy difficulty you can see that you can see what the party likes and what they don't like and it's judged by a smiley face next to you next to the party's icon which should be I think it appears like round here somewhere and you can basically increase or decrease taxes this increases revenues but the only thing is you can get uh, protests if you don't, don't do it correct like let's say I had a really high deforestation tax I think while that would be pretty popular I think the businesses don't tend to like uh, that so they'd start protesting all around and, and you'd have to deal with that uh, anything else? no I think yeah, so these are when you uh, you can make meetings with other countries, and when you do, you can check your contracts in these sections. Not in, not even finance, but <laughs> farming industry, although and energy. So if you're going for the environmentalist, which is again pretty good, you can see your breakdown in this pie chart. I find the pie charts to be very useful. You can go to construction and dismantlement, and you can build or destroy power plants and your goal I think it is an there's a scenario in America where you have to reduce your greenhouse gases by a considerable amount I think this would be a useful one you'll need this tab a lot uh, again there's contracts if you're selling if you produce excess electricity you can sell it in economic contracts and there's usually legislation on various different things and that's what we're going to get into next I'm just going to leave this tab for the moment and we'll get back to it yeah so all of this tab basically you can get you have legislation which are laws that you can pass that you can pass and this legislation is this legislation you can some of its changeable and other parts you can increase the budget in stars but these can get actually pretty expensive so you do want to be quite a bit careful and there's also things like salaries that sometimes they want to, you to increase um, what else there's, there's police and um, these are like the military options so if you are if you you can increase your soldiers but the UN won't like that you can produce nukes you can dismantle your nukes you can put all sorts of other things uh, immigration justice laws this can pass and now this is if you want to change from like being a democracy to a dictatorship or vice versa then this can be done in here you can check your seats in parliament and you do want to have see I don't because I'm the democratic union you do want to have a majority in parliament which I don't have which is a bit of a shame and because they can basically vote to overturn anything I, pr I propose unless of course I were to determine the power of congress and there's no real power however if I were to do that they have to vote that and both parties would hate that so there's not a chance that that would happen like you can make yourself you can make it so you're appointed by someone you can just change it to make yourself life and this is just the people kind of section they're the groups of people that are influential so you've got your unions associations religions everything you can change you can make it a one party state you can make it multiple you can restrict religion you can make it yeah, it's it's all up to you really and you know the game because you can't just do whatever you want otherwise it would be too easy but uh, one of the things you can join organizations you can if a country invades you you can go to the UN I'm just going to show you something to create an organization so there's plenty of different types of organizations there's economic monetary hold on my mouse isn't oh there we go sorry uh, producing countries political and military you can, they're all different I'm gonna do political and military one because usually gets the most I'm just gonna 
do that because I don't really want to do anything. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, uh, just put that. Uh, I'll just say all countries. I would just say whatever they want. No, uh, no, don't necessarily have to respect human rights because I just want to get people to join because that doesn't always happen. And create. There we go. Name a secretary general because you have to. Uh, who should we go with? We'll just go with her because why not? And we we'll advance time using these buttons. Oh, uh, yes, she's taken office. Now, I'll just show you that these are the different maps. So this is one that shows the infrastructure and energy. This one shows the military bases. These are military bases. These are air, air bases. This is certain maps in... I think you can... Is it just population you can do? Surely you can change it. I don't really... You don't really use a lot of these maps anyway. But If we go down to economic map yeah it shows yeah see that's my territory that's we go to strategic map yep these just, it's more like a a military thing so you can see we've got all our most of our allies are in Europe and NATO and all those things we've got Australia and Indonesia down there a few allies in the around the Korean peninsula now if we go to this one Remember, we don't really use a lot of these. We ma mainly use, I think, in the order that they go in, probably, but I, I really only use these three just to check things. And you can see the electoral map, so you can see who voted for who. You can see where you have an advantage. This is pretty crucial if you're planning on running for election, so you need to do that. I'm just going to, yep, beginning of primaries, but I can't run again. This is a pretty big issue. You can war on terror in the Middle East. And I believe I have a military base in Turkey. So, I can just, I'm just going to demonstrate. Actually, maybe not, but see down here. I can't, don't think there are any camps at the moment, but if I could bomb the cities, I could we now have run a drone. I think, where's, where's my base? Yeah, it's here. So I could run like, say, a drone across here and then bomb Jihadist Caliphate or any other people that get in my way. So I'll just advance time and hopefully we should see, see, see some people join our join our organization and then and I think that should wrap up the video. Yep, see they see Bulga Bulgarian, Romanian, Slovenian and He's talking about poverty. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, this one, population, can show you lots of different information about your about your country. Yeah, it shows you information about your country, percentage of people living below the poverty line, all sorts of different things. So keep an eye on that. Life expectancy of 80 years, because America does have very good beginning stats. It's a good thing. And I think that should round us up for today. So. If you enjoyed or if that has helped you, please like, subscribe, tell me that. Other than that, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all next time.